Hey everybody, Scott Detweiler here. I had a comment the other day from a user uh, that seemed out of ignorance and I wanted to fix it. They said it was a lot easier to synchronize the looks of images in Lightroom than it was inside of Capture One. And I find that to be uh, completely false. I mean, I know both programs and Capture One is much more powerful when it comes to the granularity of how we can apply different changes. A lot of that also comes from the fact that you can have layers uh, copied or pasted across different images as well. But let's just start with the basics. So let's say uh, I have this session here and you can see that it's comprised of several different ch outfit changes and maybe perhaps changes of venue when each one of these may want a different color treatment or a different look and feel. Now I have a couple different ways to do that. One is I can start with one. Uh, and we're gonna say this is our master for uh, these five images here. And I can go and I can make some changes. Uh, now I'm just gonna make some drastic changes here for example reasons. Say we increase the shadows, increase the contrast, drop the saturation, something like that. And maybe we go ahead and add a bit of a warmness to it. Now I want to copy all those changes to all these images. And there's a couple ways to do that. The easiest way, or one of the most powerful ways, is to use this arrow here. You're copying up those changes and shift click, and then you would copy down those changes and then it will synchronize them all the way across. That's simple enough, but it is a bunch of clicking and uh, I'm all about efficiency here. So let's go back. So here's my main image. If I shift click on the last one, this one is the wider border. So we know this is the one where the settings are going to be taken from and applied to all the other images. If I want to apply this exposure change, there's a pretty, pretty simple way to do it. One is, um, if I want to apply these changes to these other images, there's a pretty simple way to do it. And that's this double ended arrow here. So if you just click on it, it'll tell you these are the two controls that have been changed. You can go ahead and hit apply and it'll go ahead and do just the change to this specific control, not all the other ones we made. Uh, but again, that's a lot of clicking. So in this case, I know I'm gonna to wanna to apply all these. I just shift click on this control and those are all copied across. I can do the same thing here, just shift click on that double arrow and now all that warmth is copied across. So you can do this for each and every control that you would like to copy. So you have a lot more granularity in how you apply those. In the cases of these images, we know we wanted to apply all of them across. So I probably use this system-wide apply adjustment to the select variant. Now the same thing can be done with presets. So for example, I have this lovely lady here. Um, you may recognize her. She's in a lot of these videos. That's uh, Linaria. And I want to apply a color preset to that. So I'm gonna go here and I have some simple presets that I've loaded and I may decide which one I want to apply. I'll say I want to do, I like this one here. I want to apply this preset to all of these images. Now I can do that uh, by applying it and then copying and pasting it, but you can also just shift click, highlight them all, and then click and apply. And you see it does it in real time. Uh, so you can actually see a preview of what you're going to get. But note, this is anything that's in that preset. Then I can compound that by going back and adding any other changes. You see here, there's a difference in saturation. Um, I may say I want a little bit more contrast here. And you see it's only adjusting the primary, it is not adjusting the others. Uh, so if we, you know, you can manipulate this and see what I'm talking about. Now, if I say, well, I really like this, in this specific instance, the, the, the preset wasn't perfect. Um, and normally I would say they really aren't gonna be, right? They're not supposed to be one size fits all types of solutions, but it gets me close. And then I say, okay, I really like this, this looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and shift click on this arrow to apply that change. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the, the black change here. So it allows me to kind of give and take what I would like to from my presets, applying it across multiple images so I can get what I would want to of the entire set. Okay, for this last example, I'm gonna cover the adjustment clipboard quickly. I've covered this in a previous video, uh, but I just wanna show because the application here is meaningful in the context of what we're discussing. So say we start with this image here and I wanna make some changes and I wanna make a lot of changes. So I don't wanna go clicking later on a whole bunch of controls to make these modifications. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make changes to this here. And then maybe in here, I'm going to up the mid tone. Uh, maybe I want some blue in the shadows cause that's the way I run. And um, yeah, let's say it's something like that. Maybe even with the, the purple we do, let's say we wanted to pop some sort of a pink or something like that. So we've got a lot of a lot of varied settings here, and we want to copy these uh, to all of the other ones. Now I can do that a couple of different ways. As I said, I can shift click on all of them, and then I can uh, up, I can copy up and then apply all those to it. I can shift click on every one of these little double-headed arrows, or I can just go to the adjustment clipboard here 
and it will have every control that has been changed here checked, except for cropping. So if we click on this ellipsis here, you can see that under auto select, it has adjust except composition. So anything doing with composition, cropping and so on, will not be applied across all the images. And you can obviously uncheck this if you need it to happen. Uh, but in a lot of situations, I don't, uh, I don't want my crop to apply to all the images. But if I like all of these things, I can leave them checked and then I just click apply. That gives me the ability to change what it is that I'm adjusting on an entirely large copy and paste maneuver that involves many different controls inside of Capture One. So a lot of capability here. So I don't know whether the user was frustrated with the synchronizing capabilities other than the fact that these little tiny arrows are not super obvious. And what they do is, uh, I think pretty well documented, but if you're a person who's not into reading the instructions and you just want to dive right in, I think you could easily miss that. So let me know in the comments if you use this function and if there's any of the little tips and tricks that you have for synchronizing settings. So uh, take care, everybody. Stay safe, and I'll catch you soon.